Hi everyone. Good day to everyone. Hi, this is Chandresa. I'm gonna let people to come in. This is a new live event where um gonna discuss together with Tina. Um she is a YouTube content creator. She has been she has been curating her own YouTube channel in a way it looks like a woman's magazine like you're gonna find all of the tips and tricks and different skincare devices and different um technologies products all different reviews on her own um youtube channel so she has been testing one of our devices which is the even skin um lumo and sh her review was amazing like valuable in terms of information but the most special thing was when we received her before and after photo. I'm gonna let Tina in um, and join me in. The had a call together, so I'm really looking forward to talking to Tina today. Tina, let me know if you can join. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? I haven't seen you in so long. Yes, it's been a while. How are you doing? I am good. Well, thank you so much for joining. It is such a pleasure to speak um, to you again. Yes. yes, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much for having Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Like you have been doing an amazing job on your, on your own YouTube oh. channel. And I want to know more about it. So for anyone who doesn't know, this is Chandresa. I am the Influencer Marketing Director at Even Skin. We design products and we manufacture products um, dedicated to anti-aging skincare devices. So this is our primary focus. And um, we work with Tina and with multiple influencers to test the device, to share with you out there. So Tina, for anyone um, joining, please feel free to introduce yourself. Well, yeah. Yes, again, my name is Tina and I started my YouTube Did we lose her? Uh, I sorry, Tina, I think we lost you. Mm, I'm letting you in. Well, with every life, there is something <laughs> happening. There I am again. <laughs> yes, we lost you for a second. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, so I was saying I started my YouTube channel. It's been about two and a half years ago now, and it's turned out to be just such a wonderful addition to my life at this point. It's been so much more than I ever expected. Really? Yeah. How come? Like, I know you have been creating uh videos for different topics so i can imagine like you're testing different things but tell me more how is that connection to your lifestyle and also like sharing tips and the whole content creation well i've always been the type of person that when i find a product that i like or something i'm really enjoying i've always been that person that i want to share it with all of my friends and family so i'm just doing that on a little bit bigger scale and it's it's just given me a creative outlet that I had and I'm an empty nester. So I have a lot of time on my hands and it's just been so nice to be able to put my energy into something that is fun and creative. And I've honestly met the most wonderful people through this experience, which I never expected to have like this wonderful group of following. They're so supportive and it's just been, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Amazing. And it, it, it is so special when we see um, there's a bond between the influencer or the content creator and her own audience. And that is something definitely I could see when I watched um, your content at the beginning. And that is so special. And it's so nice that you're also mentioning this, that you have come across amazing people, which is sometimes very rare to find on the internet because like there's 
different content <laughs> from all different places and from different people. So it is so nice to get fe positive feedback. It absolutely is because I have to say that was probably the biggest fear in doing this initially was that you hear all the horror stories of, you know, the horrible people on the internet and you're putting yourself out there. So it is, it's scary. I can't lie. It was very scary to get started, yeah. but it's just been, I've been surrounded by just wonder. I can't say all women because I have some men that follow me that are very nice and very supportive, but just a generally a group of women that are just there. They are like women's women. They just support other women. And it's just, it's wonderful to see that part of the internet That's so, for sure. So special. Yeah. That is absolutely um, special. And, and I can imagine like for someone um, that hasn't been on YouTube in the beginning, you are just searching for different content yourself, like including me, like whenever I'm looking to buy something, we're just like watching different products. I'm going to go on YouTube first and just see like who's using what. And usually if there is a concern um, about a specific condition, I'm going to go on YouTube and usually find a review. So as more people like you are creating honest um, reviews and sharing their own experience, it is like having a friend out there. So that is tremendous value. So thank you so much for doing such honest. Well, I, well thank you. Framework. That is that's very nice to hear. Yes. Yeah, that's what, that's and what in I the beginning, to do. yes, and, and and that is something that I, I think everyone sees. So for anyone who doesn't know, you can check Tina's YouTube channel and um, your uh, your handle is Tina's Best Midlife. Yes. So yes. how did you come across? How, how, wh why did you create that name? So you started Midlife? Or yes, how? <laughs> and I was, I was just joking with my kids this weekend, though, that I, at some point, or probably if I continue doing this for a while, I'm going to have to change my channel name because I won't be living most likely to 110. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what my name, what the channel name will be then. But I, I picked that name because I really am hoping to make this like next chapter of my life like the best chapter. That's what I'd like to do. So that's why I came up with Tina's Best Midlife. Yeah. And um, I have watched some of your YouTube videos sharing about your night skincare routine and the things you have been talking about the same products for like years. So it means like those things have worked for you and you have been using those for quite some time. So. Can you share with anyone who hasn't been able to watch some of your videos, like what are some of the things in terms of skincare and things you're doing? It doesn't have to be skincare. It's about like anything lifestyle that you are doing to kind of maintain the healthy aging overall. I, it's, it's been trial and error and I honestly didn't start to really dive into like a really good, like, well, anti-aging you, we mentioned in the email, like pro aging is a better way to say it, but unfortunately anti-aging is yeah. what everybody knows. So is the term. <laughs> yeah. So I hadn't really had a good anti-aging skincare routine. I probably didn't start till I was like 49. It was like looking in the mirror and realizing like, oh my goodness, <laughs> you have really changed. And wanting, you know, I don't want to look 35 anymore, but I really want to look as young as I feel inside. I don't, I want that to match up more than than it was. So yeah. I really started to look into, you know, different products and it's kind of how I found YouTube. I was researching some skincare product and was looking for a review and uh, popped a video to watch. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is wonderful. There is so much information on here. So that's kind of how it started. And I've come down to realize that I need to have, uh, you know, a relatively simple routine of products that that work because I get lazy. And if it's too complicated, I just I don't want to do it. I so I I've implemented products and devices that are easy to use and that I'm consistent. And I think that's the big key is that whatever you're doing, you have to be consistent. Exactly. 100% and you need to give products you're testing a few months like up to three months in order to see results so and I understand because marketing is so good and brands out there are doing amazing jobs and to be honest there are so many good products so many good ingredients that actually have been researched and definitely work so we tend to grab different products out there just because we see a nice let's say YouTube review or a TikTok content which is like so attention grabbing 
But when it comes to testing things and also like being consistent with your own skincare routine, it, you kind of have to be religious with things you're using. Like let your active ingredients do their job and it's going to take some time for our skin to kind of um, work towards the um, effects of the ingredients. So for you in this case, how do you navigate testing different products, but at the same time, you're also reviewing them and sharing different content. How often do you switch like um, in different skincare products or, or like, do you only kind of share products that you only use yourself or you are also testing different stuff so then you can share more reviews um, on YouTube? I I like to only share products that I'm actually using. I, I want to give like my impression of what the product is. So I want to use the product. And what I've realized in my skincare routine is that I've got a couple like staples that I haven't really wavered and, and switched them up. But I will put in maybe different serums or different moisturizers or different cleansers. I will kind of switch that up a little bit. But like you said, I try to give a product at least a couple of months because you as much as we would like to be able to use you know slap a serum on our face and look in and see you know that we look 10 years younger that's not going to happen so i i try to really give a product some time and then if i like it i'll continue and then i can share it with my viewers if not i might just leave it out and just you know go on to something else yeah that's that makes sense so for anyone um who is new um we're talking about skincare products and anti-aging or pro-aging um journey and what we usually recommend is for everyone to kind of start low and um, start slow with everything like you only need to integrate a few ingredients depending on also what you're trying to target and as tina says um it's very important to be consistent with everything that you're using give it some time in order for it to show some results and um in terms of skincare devices i know you're big on red light mm -hmm. therapy and that is something um i'm interested in myself because us as even skin uh we do have a red light um mask i mean it's red light blue and um yellow light therapy that it utilizes but i want to know your journey more about skincare devices red light therapy you have been testing the Even Skin Lumo as well. So wanna know more about this whole story. Yes, I will say Red Light was my first skincare device and I started with a panel. And I remember snapping a picture. My neck has been my area of concern really. So that was what was aging, I think a lot quicker than the rest of me. So I remember snapping a picture of my neck day one starting red light. And I snapped that picture really just for myself. At that point, I had thought about starting a YouTube channel, but I didn't know if I was gonna be brave enough to actually yeah. do it. So I just wanted something for me to be able to look at. And I would recommend for everyone to do that, to take a before picture, because sometimes you small changes don't register when you are looking in the mirror, but when you have that picture to look back at and then you can take an after picture you can see changes and then i think that's so motivating to continue to use your devices and i did that with the lumo and you know lo and behold three months after i had started using it i was pretty shocked at my after pictures yeah. and of course on the internet you are going to get all kinds of people picking apart your before and after pictures and i try to explain every video that i do that like i am just doing the best that i can i i'm trying to get the lighting as similar and as much similar but i'm not in the lab you know it is just me doing it but when I am really excited about the results, it, that's, that's all I really need. I, I know that it's working and I hope it comes across and I'm just trying to take the best pictures, but obviously sometimes there are people on the internet. That's the one thing I've gotten run into is that people with my before and after pictures, I have had some people flat out tell me that I have Photoshopped things. And, and honestly, I have never used Photoshop, don't know how to use Photoshop. It, it's a wonder I joined this Instagram <laughs> live with you. I mean, I don't, I don't have that in me to do all that, but people accuse you of when you put a before and after picture. But I also think it's important because I really did see results and I want to share that with people. Yeah. And to be honest, 
anyone like who hasn't been testing or hasn't been trying to capture before and after photo, you don't know the struggle, <laughs> like the lightning, or you try to take a picture on the same place, it just never shows the same. Like no. there's gonna be different lightning, different weather. Even if you try to shoot like with different lights, like as I have here, it's just gonna be so hard yeah. to capture the same image. And um, we get those feedback as well. Like we have reviews that people leave on our own website. We have before and after photos that people usually share. And if we're publishing there, those, there's going to be a comment. No, oh, no, this doesn't, this just looks like a Photoshop or this person looks so young and they could like, they're the, in the right category to be using the even skin Lumo and actually see result. But we're always going to have such people. But what we need to do is be consistent and share our own positive and honest reviews. And then this way, it's going to be way easier to talk through with, with those people and kind of explain how the technology is working because no matter how much before and after photos we try to publish out there, what people need to understand or, or kind of do their own research, it's, it's about the technology and that we're talking about radio frequency, we're talking about red light therapy. And I know, um, for, as you mentioned, for example, red light therapy is one of your favorite and kind of the way you started. And to be honest, it is very nice or it's a great step to start your anti-aging or pro-aging skincare routine with a red light therapy and we would recommend this to everyone starting from let's say 20s and 30s when you're kind of still in that range of like you have enough elasticity your skin is kind of in a good shape but you start preventing um more signs of aging in this case so red light therapy is the most or the easiest non-invasive treatment that you can get and it ha there are so many clinical studies that you can see how much it helps with collagen production it reduces um dark spots and hyperpigmentation and then it helps also with the wrinkles and fine lines so it is an amazing step for you to start on and then kind of go up and like level up more into the microcurrent ems and then for example radio frequency which is kind of the highest anti-aging technology that one could use at home. Um, so after red light therapy, what was your next step? Like how, what was your next device? It was actually the Lumo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, it was. Yeah. That was my, that was my first device other than red light was the Lumo. Yeah. And how was your experience with the Lumo? Oh, it's, it's amazing. That is a, like, it is a powerful device. You can tell it, you, the first time you hold it, it's, it's not chintzy by any means. It's a, it, you can tell it's well-made. And I have read reviews on your website of estheticians. I can never say that word, but people using it in, you know, in spas to give facials. And I can see why, because it instantly, when you use that, it instantly like just slumps up your skin, tightens your skin. It's, it's amazing, like the instant result that you get the first time you use it. But then it's easy enough that I have added it into my routine that I'm consistent with it. It's actually become like my Sunday morning ritual is I, I that every Sunday morning is my Lumo time. Yeah, there's a question coming. How often do you use red light therapy? And then this way we can also like combine and I'll, I'll share more about the Lumo and the schedule so we can talk more about how this came uh, became your Sunday uh, morning kind of skincare routine. Yes, I do use the I use red light probably right now about five days a week is what I'm doing with red light. Um, and then I do not do like a red light treatment the day that I'm doing the Lumo because there's also the red light in the Lumo treatment. So maybe you consider that six days because there is the red light with the Lumo. But I'd average probably about five with the red light mask, I would say. Sometimes less, but around there. Yeah. And for red light therapy, it is definitely safe to use this um, every day of the week. But if you're using like other devices, such as um, the Even Skin Lumo, then it's, it totally makes sense to kind of skip that day and not do uh, red light treatment. Even though like the red, red light therapy, um, it's not that kind of big in, um, when it comes to like the whole session or the therapy you would usually right. get from the, a mask or a panel if you have one of those. It, is, it only has like 
a small circle. So it's going to be um, this circle here that is going to show the red and the blue light therapy. So right. if we're going all around our face, it's going to be only a small bit. But still, if you're using red light therapy every other day, um, every day on during your week, then it's totally enough. Um, and then if you're using the Luma only once a week, that feels like a complete type of schedule for your whole anti-aging routine. And um, we usually recommend using the Luma only once a week, up to two times a week, also depending on the um, age group. And then we recommend giving it some time. So let's say up to seven to two hours, like three days or even more for some people in order for your skin to heal. And if you're adding red light therapy, that is the right combination because red light therapy is going to help with that healing process. So if there would be like a recommendation, okay, I have the even skin Lumo and I would love to add another device, then it would be a red light mask in this case or a panel because then you're kind of combining the two technologies to give your um, skin that's healthy, right. glowing look right. as you're also kind of recovering. Um, because when you're doing an EMS and a radio frequency treatment, you're kind of giving it a shock and then you're kind of signaling your skin to start producing more collagen. And if we're adding the red light therapy, then in this way, we're kind of asking our, we're making it easier for our skin to heal. And then it's going to help us produce more collagen and we're going to have that glow, <laughs> which I is totally amazing. I totally agree. Yeah. I just, I, 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 Totally agree with what you said. I think it's really important after the radio frequency treatments, you need to give your time, your skin time to, to regenerate and build that collagen. Like that's almost just as important as doing the treatment. Like you, you need to make sure, cause I think that you could get the first, like I said, the first time that you use it, you do get like, I looked at my skin and my neck and I was like, oh my goodness. And it's like, I think you would want to be like, I want to use this every day, but you, you really shouldn't. And that's, but it also makes it so easy because for me, I'm maintaining my results for one day a week. And that makes it so easy to be consistent. It's I, uh, there are other devices out there that I have looked at, but you really have to put in a lot of time. And I know myself, I'm lazy and I would just give up after a few weeks. It, I just wouldn't be able to do it. So yeah. that's what I like. I've got like a schedule down that works for me and it's easy for me to do, you know, my red light about four, you know, five days a week and then my Lumo on Sunday mornings. And I feel good about that because I've really been consistent. I started using it, I think, wasn't it about a year ago? Yeah. I think it was maybe we talked in yeah. like July a year ago. And so I've been using it about a year. I'll probably be taking some like photos again, just to see where I'm at. But I know that I've been maintaining it definitely has not gotten worse since I have been doing it. So I'm really excited. Yeah. And to be honest, when we received your before and after photos, it was like, wow, yeah. like this is a typical customer getting amazing results so we were like okay we can share this on social media we can share this on our, our website so people could see like within it wasn't like even that long for you to kind of it get was i think results. it was like three months yes yeah i think it was like three months so not a lot of time and i have only only ever used it once a week yeah I've so never, like we didn't I, even increase yeah. to, to two times a week and which level are you using the device I can do the radio frequency when I do just that mode. I'm able to do like a four, maybe a five with just the radio frequency. I will tell you the ion mode and the EMS, I am still only up to a three. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are strong. <laughs> they are really strong modes. And, you know, I maybe I'll eventually try to boost up. But right now I am at a three with both of those. You can you can really feel it when you're using that. I mean, it's not painful. Don't you don't get me wrong. It's not that it hurts, but you can definitely tell that your your muscles are getting a workout when you're doing that EMS mode and the ion mode. Yes, a hundred percent. And for anyone who doesn't know, there's going to be like a twitch or a ting tingling on your um, skin while you're doing the EMS mode. And that is happening because like there's low level energy and there's like muscle contracting and relaxing at the same time in a circle kind of there's a system that we're sending low level uh pulses on your skin for our our muscles to contract and it is the same activity as you would usually do in a gym or workout session so like we're helping muscles 
to stay active and this way the EMS is helping us tone our muscles overall. So the radio frequency, what we're doing with the radio frequency, we're sending heat um, down into the, uh, down it to four millimeters of our skin, which is heating up to 42 um, degrees Celsius and we're helping collagen production, which in the long run is helping us with skin tightening and elasticity. The EMS on the other hand is helping us contract the muscles and relaxing them at the same time. We're also doing the LUMO um, always in the um, upward motion, like we're doing linear, linear and also circles. And then this way our muscles are gonna be lifted and in the long, so like you're gonna get the results kind of uh, instantly when you're doing the EMS, like there's gonna be a lift. But in the long run, what we're doing, we're toning the muscles. So then this way we're gonna have a firmer um, tone overall um, as we're aging. So it is very important to also combine these two. So the LUMO combines multiple technology. It is radio frequency and there is EMS, red and blue light therapy, sonic vibration. There's a cleansing mode, product penetration mode, and there's the cooling. And the cooling is gonna help kind of just neutralize the whole heat that we usually get from the radio frequency because all of the modes um, are combined, combining with the radio frequency mode. So then this way we're getting enough radio frequency and then there's gonna be some heat and probably some people are gonna have a bit of redness. So the cooling is just gonna to help to kind of soothe out our skin, shrink the pores, but generally it's about cooling our skin so then there's this way we don't have any excess heat um, deep into the layers of our skin. Yeah, it does, it feels good too. Yeah, it is so refreshing. <laughs> and yeah, and like I, can do I, yeah, it's great for hot flashes. You know nothing about that yet, but <laughs> I don't. But it actually feels really good. <laughs> I was just listening to uh, a live Instagram with Sephora, and there were two new um, guests that were talking about menopause and the hot flashes and the things that you can do. And I was constantly listening to the conversation, and they were like talking about how much information we people need to share and just like have a community as you do talking about menopause and the hot flashes and the things you have so you can talk more about the cooling mode in the lumo and the whole process of menopause and the hot flashes that you have yeah it's 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 un, it's incredible when you you never realize until you get here i mean i've some women sailed through i have one sister i don't she said she's never had a hot flash in her life and i don't know why that's possible for her and not, <laughs> and not for me but it's really a sensation the first time that you get it and the that cooling mode i have broken the lumo out just for the cooling mode just because it feels so nice on your face but I was reading a statistic that shocked me about the first five, after the first five years a woman is in menopause, she loses 30% of the collagen in her skin for the, after the first five years, and then 2% every year after that. And that was shocking to me. I, I mean, that is a lot that no wonder everyone is looking for, you know, things that boost collagen because when you realize that you lose that much and you can you can literally see it you can see your skin just like you want, it seems like it's one day you looked in the mirror and it looked fine and then you look back and it's like it's drooping and I, so i was shocked when i read that and that's why i love being able to use that lumo because i know that it's building up my collagen which is i think what we're all looking for yeah. at this at this age yeah, yeah. It's perfect time to start integrating, like if you haven't done this before, um, the menopause kind of phase, it's, it's a nice time to start using something like the Lumo, also for the cooling mode, because like it's gonna <laughs> help soothe those hot, hot flashes. Yeah. And it was so interesting to listen to that conversation because there were so many tips and there were like, there were, there were so many comments thanking each other about sharing different stories and the ways how to cope with um, the all many symptoms there were like 32 symptoms that usually one woman would feel also men during the uh, menopause phase so that is such an interesting age let's say um because you're dealing with so many stuff at the same time you're also like your whole face is changing and there are so many things you can do in lifestyle overall like there's going to be food how many things you did before you kind of came across or like you reached the menopause um phase because there is SPF, there are skincare products that you can integrate, there are different technologies that you can use. 
And that would be stuff like microcurrent, there would be stuff as red light therapy, as we mentioned. And then kind of like the whole kind of big deal would be something like radio frequency, which is going to help the most with the collagen production. Yeah. What now would you think I was thinking about this and would does even skin recommend it for Lumo? I, I was thinking like in your 40s would be a great time to start using that device. Like I would think that because in life, it's always easier to like prevent things than try to play catch up. And I'm wondering, like, you are going to look amazing when you're in your 50s because, for one, you've you've known about S SPF for a long time, which my generation, I mean, I remember my first few beach vacations, there was no such thing as SPF, and we would completely fry. And then also my teenage years trying to fry. I mean, we had foil blankets we would lay on. So, I mean, I feel like, your generation is going to be so much better off, I think, when you get to where I am. But do you yeah. think the Lumo would be something like I was thinking I would love if I had started using this in my 40s, I think it would have made a huge difference because I think it's easier to maintain. A hundred percent. And 40, it is kind of the perfect age yeah. uh, group. There are people that are younger than 40 that are starting with the Even Skin Lumo. But as even skin, we do offer other products that we would usually recommend before um, 40. And there is the even skin Mirage, which is the red light therapy, uh, which is the perfect device to start in your 20s or 30s. I think 30s would be kind of the optimal kind of age to start using. There is the Phoenix, which uses low level microcurrent, which is like very moderate microcurrent. Um, that you can use. It is a roller. Um, I don't know if you have been able to check this uh, device, but it is a roller. It, uh, it is solar powered. It offers you a bit of like a minor lift overall, but it helps so much with lymphatic drainage and product penetration. So that is something you would start probably in your 20s. Then in your 30s, that will be something such as the red light therapy. But we recently came with a new, we came up with a new device, which is the Even Skin Eclipse and it utilizes it is something similar to the lumo in terms of the look and also like multiple uh, things that it offers but that that offers microcurrents massage product penetration there is um a cleansing mode there is also ultrasound so it doesn't have the radio frequency as the lumo does and it doesn't has have ems such as the lumo but it offers microcurrents which is way lower in terms of like how deep it penetrates and how much it stimulates the muscles and we can okay. also discuss more about the differences between microcurrent and ems um in a bit but that would be something if you're not ready to start with the lumo so something about 30s and 40s if you are not ready to start with something this powerful with as such as lumo we would recommend starting with the eclipse we're still it is still on pre-order so for anyone who would like to get that they can pre-order but it's going to take a few more weeks to until we um, ship out to everyone but that would be a perfect way to start and then if um kind of the highest level so far that exists in the market that is such about this this powerful it would be something like the even skin lumo and we call this a clinical gray device so this is why we recommend giving it time um starting low we recommend only using this once a week, up to two times a week. And only for people that have more severe signs of aging, they can start with three times a week, but giving like enough time or space in between sessions. So then they're kind of, because their skin is gonna need more time um, to produce more collagen. So we kind of need to put more energy into our face. So then this way they start to produce more collagen and then they're gonna see the results. So overall, this would be kind of the age uh, group and the technology that one can use um, as a recommendation from even skin. Yeah, no, I think it's great. And I think sometimes um, if people are looking, because I was looking into like anti-aging spa treatments, like I was thinking, oh, like, bef you know, this was before I talked to you last summer, like, oh, maybe I'll just kind of treat myself. But when you realize that if you go to a spa like one time for like a micro needling with radio, I mean, radio frequency, it costs quite a bit. And 
you would still need to be consistent with something like that. Whereas I like being able to do things for myself in my home, which I think is the draw for these home devices for red light and the Lumo. It's so nice just being able to do it when you want to do it. And, you know, it's an initial events investment at first, but then you're, it's, you would have to do that if you, you know, went to a spa, a med spa every you know few months or whatever so i think that's a it's it's a it's a good thing to keep in mind for people that because you know it, it's not it's not an inexpensive device but i think if you look if you look at it that way what you possibly could be spending if you were doing treatments you it, you would definitely you get your money's worth and you can use it whenever you want and that's that's what i love about it a hundred percent and this is the recommendation we usually say to people if they're like, okay, I want to get one of those in-clinic treatments, but you can only get those, let's say, only a few times per year. So let's say up to two times a, a year to get like, let's say a Morpheus A treatment, something that is very powerful combining radio frequency and microneedling. And not many people feel so comfortable to get such treatment because also it is very expensive, but it, uh, it is also That's very scary. Uh, painful. It is scary. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm kind of, I'm a person that's afraid of needles. So I've never had any Botox or fillers or anything. And not to say that I wouldn't, but I, I, I'm a little scared of having a needle put into my, <laughs> into my face. So I'm, I'm putting that off as long as I possibly can. Yeah. yeah. And there is a, there is like the majority of people who wouldn't go through let's say Botox and fillers because they just don't feel comfortable doing that way. And we just need to look for ways that we can kind of have a pro healthy aging process because it, it also has to do with our attitude and the lifestyle mm -hmm. of the food intake and the stress environment, how much sleep we're getting. So it's not about just a skincare device or a skincare product. It's more about a whole lifestyle and different factors that we can do to contribute to our own healthy aging overall. So what are some of the things that you would usually recommend to someone because you have a good community out there. I know they're coming to your channel, asking questions and looking for tips and tricks. So what would you recommend to someone? Well, believe me, I, I am not perfect in this, like, cause I realize nutrition is a big, has a, it has a big impact on your, your appearance, how you feel, everything. And that's probably the thing I've struggled with most. I think I eat well most of the time, but I have the biggest sweet tooth and it's been, it's a struggle not to indulge, you know, more. I, I indulge too much. I honestly do, but I try to, you know, eat a healthy diet. I've started intermittent fasting. I've been doing that probably the last, it's, it's probably been seven years actually now. So that I, I found that really helpful. I feel really good when I'm doing that. So that is one thing that, you know, I, that works for me, but I always try to make sure that I, on my channel, that I let people know I'm, I'm not an expert. I am just a regular person. So I like to just share, like, say, all right, this is what I've done. This helps me, you know, but honestly, I can't tell anyone else what, you know, what to do because we're all so different. You, it, you have to find your own way, but hearing tips and tricks from other people your age is helpful because you can kind of pick and choose and try different things. And, and some things may work that for other people that work for me, but I, I always like to make that clear. I mean, I'm not an expert, but I just like to share things that work for me. So the intermittent fasting has been really helpful. Um, sleep is kind of still a struggle and it's harder when you're in menopause that that can be, you know, you can, you just, you don't sleep as well. So obviously that affects your, how you feel and your appearance, but there's, there's not a whole lot you can do. There's, you know, certain things that help, but it, it is a struggle sleeping when you get in menopause, but you know, those are the few things and regular exercise. Obviously I walk every day with my dog and try to, to work out if, you know, a few times a week and it, it definitely helps how you feel. Yeah. And I think that's the most important thing is that you want to be able to, to just feel comfortable in your skin. It's not, it's not about looking 35, 25, you know, you just want to feel comfortable in your skin. Yeah, this this is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing this because like all of those things you're doing. And as you mentioned, you're calling yourself not an expert, but those are things that you are doing in your own life and you have seen results and I'm doing intermittent uh, fasting myself and I've seen amazing results. And it's, it's amazing. Like I didn't even expect 
there is going to be some weight loss. I, I was doing, I was doing this more for the brain fog that I was getting because of like, I couldn't kind of regulate my sugar because I was also craving and I also have PCOS, which is, um, you're just going to get a bit of, of higher insulin. So I was craving for food and sweets. And after I started intermittent fasting, it was so much easier for me to kind of, um, keep track of the food that I'm eating. And also it was just showing so much good results. There was a question coming, uh, what hours do you, do you fast? Um, typically I start my, like, I call it my lunch and I will eat anywhere between like maybe one, two in the afternoon. And then I stop usually eating at like 7 PM. It's usually where I cut off for the day. So, um, what is that? Like maybe 17, 18, 18, 19 hours is usually a, like a typical day of fasting, but I kind of have found that it works best for me if I keep switching it up for my body, like. You know, some days I'll go, you know, and I'll open my eating window at 16 hours. There are some days that I have a full day of like regular eating or then I might fast like 22 hours. And I have found that really helpful for me. Like, so my body just doesn't kind of get used to one yeah. thing. So that's really what I've been doing recently. I just, you know, I, there's so, like, I was just with my family um, away this past weekend and I just ate with them nor breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, whatever. And then when I get home, I just get back onto my fasting schedule, but that's what I like about it so much. It's so easy. Yes, <laughs> it is so easy. And as long as you're kind of creating a routine on how you're eating food, like starting with fibers. So anything veggies first and then healthy fats, and then you kind of do your own protein, then you can start eating carbs. So you actually don't even have to stop eating so many of like the delicious food that we usually would like right. kind of go to the dessert and the, and the fruits, but there are ways that we can kind of regulate. And then this way, all of this like lifestyle of eating, it also going to help with our skin because mm -hmm. it, it, it has to do with how our organs are functioning. So the whole system. So, of course, like we're talking about skincare and lifestyle and all that, but food plays a major role in how we're aging. So we need to take care of that and we need to kind of research what's our body type and kind of learn more. And we also need to test a bit, like what, what's working for you, what's not. And as you mentioned, right. like you're kind of also changing the hours of your intermittent fasting. So it totally makes sense because your body's not getting used to like one schedule and then it knows that okay at 1 p.m i'm getting this meal right um, but it's also changing so then your body's kind of always active okay do are we getting food and then it just get into that keto um kind of uh stage where it's burning more um calories and uh fat so this is this sounds amazing you're doing so many stuff that kind of is also reflecting why you have this positive approach to life and also like you're glowing and I, if we were getting the comments like you don't even look mid midlife I, and i totally I'm 50, agree with I'm that 55. i'm gonna be 56 in a couple of months so amazing yeah like no, you're doing yeah. all the good stuff <laughs> It's a good part in life and I'm really in, I'm enjoying where I'm at right now. So it, it's been, it's fun to share that with, with other people. Yeah. And if anyone has any questions, please feel free to like share this with us. Um, we usually collect questions that I have a few questions here, but we kind of went through them. Those are like some common questions that we usually get what people usually do because they want to know like, what are the tips? So if you have anything, um, that you would like to kind of ask or share, please feel free to do so because many people go back and watch those lives and try to get as much information as possible. So if anyone has any specific question about Tina's lifestyle and skincare routine, feel, please feel free to do so. I'm not going to keep her for much long. <laughs> I want to, I don't want to take so much of your valuable time, but thank you so much for joining and, um, is there anything you feel it is very important to share for people that are kind of trying to navigate where do I start? And sometimes we overwhelm ourselves with this question. Okay, I'm starting to age now. What do I do? So what would be your recommendation or what is something that you would like to share overall? I, I first, I think that everybody is kind of approaches it differently. And some people are fine with not like doing anything to try to anti age. And I totally support that. And then there are women that are probably going to get full facelifts. And you know what, I support that too. I feel like it's just 
whatever you need to do just to feel comfortable in your own skin. And if you're struggling, like where to start, I always think like anything is better than nothing. You know, if you, if, if it's just maybe adding an, a nice moisturizer and a good sunscreen, like that's better than, than, than any, than nothing. So, you know, just in trying, you know, one day, if you're, you know, really focused on drinking lots of water, trying to get lots of fruits and vegetables, but you know, maybe the weekend you, you had a party and you had a couple pieces of cake, like just, but give yourself some grace. I mean, no one's perfect. And I, I just think it just, you know, do the best you can. That's what I'm trying to do, but you know, no one's perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing this. And um, we're also talking about skincare devices. And one of the devices that Tina has also been using is the Even Skin Lumo which is a radio frequency base and it also utilizes red and blue light therapy, sonic vibration, um, EMS. And uh, those are some things that you can usually do. Um, there's a comment coming. Tina's channel is also. I thought, yeah, she's she, one of my, she's you. one of my sweethearts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hi, Sheila. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Sheila. Thank you so much for joining uh, Sheila and for um, dropping comments here. And if you have any questions, please feel to do so. And one of the things we wanted to address uh, where, while we were uh, discussing was the difference between microcurrent and EMS. I think this was a question that you wanted to address. Have you used any different microcurrent device in the best way we can do it? Compared to I've just started with microcurrent. So I was curious like what the difference is in, and I think you explained it that EMS is just a stronger form of microcurrent. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So the pulses are gonna go deeper. Um, deeper, into the okay. Layer. So they're tackling the muscle. So there, there's going to be a higher um, contraction. And then this way we're kind of doing a heavier workout compared to um, the microcurrent. And that is going to help with more, let's say, toning. It's like doing a heavier lifting. And this is why, because the Lumo, I'm um, not really sure because it depends uh, for different devices that have different levels um, of microcurrent. But the Lumo has a frequency of 100 megahertz per second, actually. And it has a, an average power at 3 milli um, amps uh, power. So then this way, I also shared this. Uh, I have this in my notes here, as I wanted to share with the audience. This means that if you're using the EMS of the Lumo, um, you can only use this five minutes per session. Um, and it also has an auto timer in the device itself so then this way it's going to shut off after you have done with the treatment but if you would kind of do more of those treatments uh, or more minutes per session it would be like going to the gym and doing more heavy lifting and then then it's going to cause some numbness to your skin so this is why to your muscles actually so this is why we recommend only using five to five minutes Per, per treatment or per session. So then this way you're doing the right amount of muscle contraction. Um, and then this way you're also good, like are having the enough, um, enough toning for you right. to get during the week. So if you would do more of like, let's say microcurrent, most probably that's not gonna be a problem. And usually there are a few devices that recommend using microcurrent, let's say every day for five to 10 minutes. But with the EMS of the Lumo, um, you need to use this only five minutes per session. And if you're doing, let's say, two to three sessions per week, then you're going to have like 10 minutes um, in total per week. Which is, I think it's great because like, it, like I said, using it once a week, it's just nice to know that that's all you have to do. Exactly. That it, it makes it easy. Yeah. Exactly. So... There are a bunch of stuff that one would be able to research and kind of get more information. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to drop them here. And also like there's a team behind that is going to be able to support you through um, out your research. Okay, I have the skin condition. What do I need to use? How can I combine different skincare routine um, with the device or different devices? So please be free to drop them here. There is a comment, is the new Loma a different version? Is the new, so yeah, for anyone, um, we are coming up with the Lumo Plus version, which is an updated version of the Lumo, and it's gonna have a faster charging. It's gonna, it, it has a bigger battery, so um, it's not gonna be heavier, but it's gonna have a long lasting battery, and also like we are improving the temperature sensors. So 
that is something that is going to be in the Lumo Plus. For anyone who has the Lumo, it is the right version. There is going to be the same functioning, but the Lumo Plus is just going to be an upgraded version. And we have been upgrading the Lumo for like um, up to three times until now, um, if I'm correct. So anytime you have a feedback about that advice, feel free to kind of share those with us because we're updating the Lumo as we are the manufacturer. So we have the chance to reiterate and like do more updates on the, uh, on the device itself. Um, well, that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, the follow up question when that will be available. So we're planning to, um, receive the Lumo plus in our warehouse, um, the second week or the third week of September. So we're still, um, waiting and we will announce through our social media and share email with everyone that um, has already ordered you can order so you can get that in pre-order and then once we get the device we will be shipping out immediately but yeah it's gonna be here very soon that's exciting my, my dog just came in at the end here to visit <laughs> Yeah, so thank you so much, um, Tina. It is always a pleasure speaking with you. And, yes, this uh, was so much fun. Yes, definitely. And we can do more of those conversation and talk about the new things that we're testing and the new things that we're coming out. We can talk more about the conduction gel. There are so many questions that I already um, would love to ask you, but I'm not going to take more of your time because this was more than enough and thank you so much for joining um and if anyone has any more questions feel free we're gonna repo repost this live so then this way you also hear the conversation get the tips that trina uh, tina has been sharing with us so far and um we will be able to answer any comments um after the we after we publish the live great yeah well thank you again yeah, thank you so much. Um, bye, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Um, it has been a pleasure. And um, yeah, see you soon in the next live. Bye.